what's up my folks hope everyone's doing good um i'm gonna go ahead and reply to all the woo woo oh my god um i'm gonna go ahead and flip the coin on it though i'm gonna go i'm gonna show both sides of the coin i've always been honest with people about the dogs and i'm not gonna start bullshitting or sugarcoating now i'm just telling you from my experience what i've seen okay and uh tony montana rocky whatever uh look bubba I'm not trying to piss on anybody's fucking Kool-Aid or, or be a dick or any of that bullshit. I'm just telling you what I, I know, okay? And it's not a... The, the Chico Lopez dog taking it up the ass. Yeah, that's, that's fucking unbelievable and all that shit, you know, but he's a cold dog, am I right? Cold dogs do dumb fucked up shit. I mean, you get cold dogs, people breed cold dogs, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on in their fucking head. Um, so really, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to expect from a cold dog. They do all kinds of stupid shit. Okay. Now you're right. If Chico is supposed to replace that dog, he should replace it. That's, that's bad on Chico. Bad on you, Chico Shane. If you promise to promise, keep it. But on the other side, now that little Puma pup, that's the most unfortunate part because you don't understand what I'm telling you. This for the, I'm showing the guys that was asking about pigs. I'm going to go ahead and walk over and show what kind of pigs I got left. Um, that's the unfortunate thing. Oh, we got a bunch of little coon coon wild pigs. A wild hog got up in here and bred these little coon coons. So if y'all want them, they'll be ready in a few weeks. Get as many as you want. Whatever's there, you can have them. Just come get them cheap, cheap. I don't know how much. Maybe 25, 50 bucks. I don't know. Cheap, whatever. But um, that's all. Oh, somebody done pulled around in my house. But anyway, that's the unfortunate part is with, um, honestly, it's, it happens at the worst time. You're right. It is a sign of dominance. But the thing is, it doesn't matter when or who, when they're dominating. That's, it's a sign of dominance. They'll do it at that time. Okay. I'm going to take you back 20 years. I had a fucking dog that was unbelievable. This motherfucker was the medicine, son okay and when at one time he did it to me once but it didn't matter and i, I kind of overlooked it for a second if he was on a super bad one he'd be super bad well we got in a long drawed out thing and it was just his turn and he didn't do his you know what he was supposed to do he went to humping he was totally dominant he didn't need you know what i'm saying he totally dominated him I'm just saying as a breeder standpoint, that's not a good thing, Bubba. And I don't, you know, it doesn't matter if you keep your dogs on chains or in a crate or in a pen. That might be even a learned trait. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm, I don't want to see anybody get set back years. You can say you've been in this for 15 years. You've never heard of a dog getting romantic. That's what they call it. That's, I mean, fuck every journal I've ever read had a two or three dogs got romantic at the end. You understand what I'm saying? It's not an uncommon thing. It's not a good thing. And that's all I'm saying about it. It's, 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 a, it's a misfortune and all the way around, really. But that may even be a learnt trait from him. So, just all I'm saying is, on both sides of the coin, that's a fucked up situation, Bubba. As a, as a, being real about it, you know. I don't really candy coat a whole lot of shit, you know. If you don't like the way I keep my dogs, I keep them on chain, whatever, man. That's how every bulldog man I've ever it had chains and, and kennels and didn't keep them in the kitchen running around. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that shit, but when shit like that happens, it's going to happen because of that shit. I mean, I'm just being honest, okay? So, y'all take care. Y'all keep on bulldogging and understand where the fuck I'm coming from this. It ain't just something I made up or pulled out of the air. It's called getting romantic. I mean, every fucking dog man that's been in the game knows what that's about. You know, it ain't nothing that's that's been done before, but I've never seen him actually take that pussy like that man pussy from him and walk in. I mean, that was like, oh my God. I would figure even a cold dog would get away from that shit. I mean, I don't care how cold you are. I guess when he throws a cold one, he throws a damn good cold one. I mean, that's all I can say, man. But, you know, it is what it is. And you are right, he should replace it. But, I mean, the shocking thing is the little male continued on with it until he did lock up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a good trait. Don't let him do it no more. Don't let him get around other males and try to show dominance because that's not a good thing to do. If, my, if a 10-month male of mine wants to show dominance, I'm going to show him some dominance. You believe that? 
Y'all take care and keep on bulldogging.